Hey there, welcome to another episode of Hanging Out With Me in the Kitchen Space. In today's episode, let's make some vanilla yogurt. And in a previous episode, I showed you how to make some real homemade natural yogurt. So you can check that out. In today's episode, we are making some vanilla yogurt. And this is because I want to make some overnight oats that I really enjoy. And you should also try them out. And first things first, you need some whole milk. Whole milk simply means mazio ya ngombe. I like getting mine fresh from the cow, but if I told you do not have, you can also try mazio ya ATM if I told you trust it. And and you should not add any water into your milk. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off by boiling our milk and you're going to let this come to a boil, then I'll be back. And that is perfect. So I'm going to let these continue sitting here for about 30 or so minutes so that it can cool down, but not extremely cold or room temperature, just slightly warm. And I'll be back. So about 20 or so minutes later, my milk is warm. And how you test it, you take your pinky and insert it. And once you feel like you don't notice camomile that you're doing anything, that's the right temperature. And here I have my yogurt and this is going to be my starter for today and just in case i did not mention this is one liter of whole milk i've used about five spoons of natural yogurt i have some sugar and you'll also need some vanilla or any other essence that you like you'll also need a container and i'm going to use this container of mine that i really love for making this yogurt recipe and i'm going to add in my milk right there then I'm going to add a little bit of my milk here so that I can loosen this up. Then I'm slowly going to mix this till the consistency become a little bit light. That is good. And for this particular recipe, please do not use a spoon. Use a wooden muiko or a silicone muiko or any other type of muiko, but not a metallic one. Then I'm going to add in about three spoons of sugar, like a sauce hapo. Then I'm also going to add in about a tablespoon of some vanilla essence. Oh, that was precise. Then I'm going to mix this till I am certain that my sugar is well dissolved. You should also wait for your milk to cool down. Uh, do not add hot milk to the yogurt because you're going to kill the culture. And that's what's going to help in uh, uh, thickening our yogurt. So this is okay and you can see it is still running. So I'll just taste if everything is well balanced. Mm, tastes amazing. I'm going to cover this. Then for the storage, in my previous episode, I recommended that you store a uh, hapochinia sink. But then uh, sometime later this week, I recently thought that Okay, my sink hapo chini is usually very warm and I thought not everyone's home hapo chini a sink is usually very warm. Some storage spaces below the sink are usually very cool and so I'm going to show you another alternative which you can use. You'll need your kikoi or any other heavy material and I'm going to put it here. This is just going to help nibo kikoi spati uchakumingi. It's not really necessary. Then I'm going to put it here just like that. Then I'm going to cover this. And we are basically creating some hot area uh, so that our culture can activate and our yogurt can thicken up very well. Then, just like that. And then, 
you can store this anywhere in your house and your yogurt will be ready in 24 hours but i like mine going for 48 hours and this is because after 24 hours yes my yogurt will be very good but it will still be at room temperature but i like enjoying mine when it's extremely cold after 24 hours i'm going to remove it from my kikoi and store it in my fridge so that it can cool for another about 24 or so hours but you can still have it after 24 hours and that's going to be good So this is about 48 hours later and let's check on our yogurt and So I'm going to give this a good mix I've garnished mine with some seedless grapes and let's give this a taste test. Mm. 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 This is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. 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 Wow, that was refreshing. And as you've seen, it was that easy preparing some homemade yogurt. I've garnished mine with some seedless grapes, and you can also garnish yours with anything that you like, or you can also have it as it is. It's very delicious, it's chilled enough, and I am pretty sure you're going to love this recipe once you try it out. That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope so. Hope you, you learned something new. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.